After Effects 2025 has some great new updates. And can I tell you something? Come here. We're going to talk about them. Go away. First one. The big update for After Effects is their improved 3D workflow that will now allow you to access any embedded 3D animations inside of 3D models. You could, of course, work with 3D and After Effects before, but when you purchase a 3D model with embedded animations, such as a skeletal rig, you weren't able to access them. You had to export animations and another 3D software, then bring that back to After Effects. But with the 2025 update, you can drop in your GLB file, open the drop down properties, and you will notice this new animation options tab, which will give you the freedom to turn on, view, and adjust the duration for different animations, giving you more flexibility to use your 3D model however you want. Shadow catchers are now in After Effects as well. Without shadows, you'll see that your 3D model will stick out because there's no shadow grounding it to that 3D space. Creating that shadow in After Effects used to be a tedious job, but with this update, you can create a shadow catcher using any 2D layer like a solid or a shape. So let's create a solid, make it a 3D layer, change the orientation to match the ground, then position it under the model, and you'll now see the shadow appear. To clean it up, open the drop down, go to Material Options, and next to Accept Shadow, we'll change it from on to only. This will make it so that the solid is hidden and only the shadow is left. After that, you can pick your shadow color and adjust settings to lessen any grain, and you're done. After Effects will now support a depth buffer extraction when using the advanced 3D renderer. This will allow you to utilize the depth inside of your scene to create realistic or stylized effects that enhance the 3D feel to your clip. So by pre-composing a 3D scene, you can extract the depth and utilize that in different ways like adding realistic depth of field or using depth as a transition from one 3D scene to another. Similar to Premiere's update, After Effects' properties panel has been improved to include frequently used settings to accelerate your workflow so that you can spend less time having to go into your layer settings and more time making adjustments. For example, in the past, if you had a light or a camera that you wanted to change, you'd have to go into the light settings or camera settings. Now, inside of the properties panel, you can very quickly change the light type from spot to ambient or whatever you want and shift your camera settings here as well. Finally, we have some new animation presets for motion design so that you spend less time keyframing and more time on your creative animation. You can find these by going to Animation, Browse Presets, and that will open Adobe Bridge to showcase all the new presets at your disposal. You have these speed lines and radials that can be used for backgrounds, shape elements that can be used for UI mockups, random expression controls, textures for text or shapes, easy to use number counters like timers or countdowns, infographic presets, transitions, and many more. On top of everything else, they also revamped their user interface to feel fresh and clean without you having to relearn anything. But those are the new updates for After Effects 2025, and let us know what features you're most excited about in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe because hot water can freeze faster than cold water. And you're hot.